Hello, and welcome to another exciting episode of Inflatable Stuff Authority, where we're testing the Carter Marina CX. Now this isn't just any ordinary episode, we're actually on Bullocks Lake, snicker snicker, um, on Salt Spring Island. I swear I did not make that name up, it's actually the name of the lake. Today I'm going to go through stability, speed, maneuverability, and tracking Car Marina CX. I'll let you know my thoughts and we'll go from there. I wanted to make note that this is actually my second time testing the Carter Marina CX. The first time was a year ago. I was out in White Rock Beach and it was pretty wavy. So today is when I'm actually gonna be doing the test because these are calm waters and I feel like that is just much better testing conditions to see the performance of the board as opposed to paddling in windy, wavy White Rock. So let's get started with stability. All right, first up, let's stand. So I'll put the paddle over here. So upon standing on this board, I would say that the Carter Marina CX is a pretty stable board. Um, just standing on it, it's not the tippiest uh, touring board that I've ever stood on. Um, and I think the stability is fairly impressive considering how pointy the nose is. It's definitely more aggressively pointed than a lot of other touring boards I've tested. Uh, would, do I think that this would be great for beginners first time? I think there are better Sea God boards out there if you're a beginner. But this is an ideal board for uh, if you want to grow as a paddler, you want to actually go longer distances, maybe you want to take some more gear on you, consider even some overnight trips. It's a little bit of headwind, but it's not too bad. So we're gonna do some maneuverability tests. So first is reverse sweep stroke. And we're using the little dock slash place that I'm staying at as sort of um, the target. So let's get started now. One, two, three. Yeah, pretty much four, four reverse sweep strokes, which is actually pretty impressive, uh, especially for a 12 foot touring board. That's actually a very good score. I was about expecting maybe five strokes. Just a few more thoughts as I'm kinda paddling around a little bit here. I do actually really like the Hada paddle. It's pretty lightweight at 1.7 pounds. And I really like how the handle contours your hand. It feels very nice. I really like that carbon feel as well. It's just, it's one of my, one of my preferred grip um, surfaces, I'd say. The paddle is also teardrop shaped, which gives you a little bit more power. And it also has a little bit of, um, a little bit of angles as well. You can kind of see right there. Now that the wind has died down, let's do some reverse side paddles. Slow down. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. I'm gonna say fourteen. Uh, the wind kind of pushed back right when I was on that last little paddle stroke. 14 pretty, it's in at about uh, the range that the other touring boards do with reverse side paddles. So a pretty decent score. I, I was definitely a little bit more impressed with the reverse sweep stroke score though, but Tom, let's do some tracking tests. So we'll use that dock as a target. So first we'll just do the right hand side. 
Okay, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, let's say seven. Next side. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I'd say about six and a half, seven strokes. His idea is about the mid range between the two. So let's just say 6.5 strokes aside. Which is a fairly, it's a decent score for this specific touring board. Again, there are some boards that are 12 foot six that have a little bit better tracking ability, but I think the main thing is because this board is six inches uh, smaller lengthwise. But still a pretty impressive reading. Like it actually does do better than some 12 six boards that I've tested before. So it is outperforming in its category, I'd say. So we're just doing a little bit of paddling against some wind. And I like the ground that I'm um, making with this board. It's clear that the rocker clearly does not give this board too much drag. So it is actually very nice. Even in when the wind picks up like it is right now, the board Still moving forward pretty good. Woo! Here we go. This is the test right here. The board is still making ground, which is actually very impressive. When I do this sometimes with like other all around boards, you barely make any progress at all, but this board is clearly making progress against the wind, which is pretty nice. Now we're just gonna do a speed test kind of based on feel. So I'm gonna paddle a little bit harder than normal and just see how this board kind of feels. We have, the wind is coming from my back, so this is more of like a feel-based speed test. There's no actual number associated to it because wind will severely impact that and I don't really want wind in my scores because then it'll just skew the reading. So let's get into it. Let's start paddling faster. Okay. Whew. Yeah, the board felt pretty nice actually. Um, it felt fairly stable throughout, even when I was leaning on each side. I didn't feel like I was too much on edge. Like other boards, like perhaps Nixie Manhattan, I'd have to worry about that edge a little bit more and be a little more mindful of it. But Sea God's Card Marina CX. Good stable platform, but it felt fairly fast. It felt like a pretty fast board for sure. And that time when I was doing it, there actually wasn't very much wind on my back. So I think it completed this task pretty well. It's one of the faster boards I've tested, just based on feel. There's no number associated to that, just on feeling. What are my final on water impressions of the Carter Marina CX? Paddle board by Sea Gods. I like this board. It just glides in the water. Like right now, wind is pushing me, and I could use the paddle as a bit of a sail. And it just flows very nicely with the water. You can tell there's actually very minimal rocker disturbance because of the uplifted nose. And whenever there is waves, that uplifted nose, the very pointed nose, it'll just cut through the water, which will help kind of ground the board into the wave as opposed to it swirling over it. I like the feel of this board, like we'll do a balance test. Board feels supremely stable. Like even when you bounce, it kind of just stops almost instantly. So this is made of very 
is very well made. Uh, cross weave drop stitch helps with that for sure. It's a fusion layering. I also really like how the board is designed. Like the deck pad is awesome. I like how it's spliced. I like how maneuverable this board is actually. I wasn't expecting four strokes for reverse sweep strokes, but this board did it with that score. It's very impressive. In terms of tracking, I felt this board did pretty good. Um, touring characteristics, board is definitely fast. Uh, the rocker is well made for sure. Uh, very minimal disturbance in the water. And it's also a pretty stable board, especially when you're doing the harder strokes. Like there's some touring boards out there where you really have to concentrate for each stroke um, that are even just six inches longer. But this board felt plenty stable. So if you were looking to jump into touring boards immediately and maybe you don't have the most experience, this is a pretty good board for sure. Wouldn't say it's the best first board unless you're willing to accept that you might fall into the water a time or two to learn. If you're dedicated to learning and you're a lifelong student and you don't mind getting wet the odd time or two, then you can definitely get this board as a beginner. Overall, I was really impressed with this board. I thought it had a lot of good characteristics and you could tell it's just a very well made, very meticulously designed board. So do I recommend it? Absolutely. Fantastic board. This is Derek from Inflatable Sup Authority. Thank you for coming on board with me. If you like this video, please like, subscribe. It really helped me out a lot. If you want to buy this product, look at the link in the description below. Really appreciate if you went through my affiliate link. It comes with no extra charge to you. And yeah, till then, see you later, guys.